did have to wake up early today. How does it feel to be back? Feel like just being back in this Honestly, I'm I'm super excited about it, but it is kind of weird. Like I, uh, a lot of the stuff is the same, and a few that like a little bit of the stuff is different, but it just seems. Uh, a little bit different than I imagined, not imagined, but it's different than I remembered. And now that I'm actually like here, everything is becoming a lot more real. And um, I'm just, I'm just really excited to be back. In a good way? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that there's a lot of like visual stuff that's changed. I mean, a lot of the guys around here, like the demeanor is, is fantastic. It seems like a lot of the coaches that I've talked to so far guys who I've known in the past, guys who I've worked with in the past, and guys who I haven't worked with. Um, it seems like we got a lot of straight shooters here in the coaching staff, and um, it just seems like the, the overall culture that they have and what comes down into the locker room is, is good. It's positive. The expectations have changed a little bit too. I mean, uh, just looking at how this team finished last year and, and – what the projections are for next year. Just how much do you like joining them at this time period too, where, where really it, it looks like a team, a young team that's ready to take off? I mean, that was something that I was really excited about when I was looking at places to go. Um, just in general, seeing, I think we talked about this a little bit earlier, but seeing how they started last year, one and six, and then they ended up winning, I think it was like, what, eight, eight of their last however many games. Um, it takes like a certain type of team and a certain type of, I mean, certain group of players to be able to do that, to have like the mental strength. Cause I mean, a lot of people would just kind of throw in the towel at that point. Um, but just going out there and, and seeing them succeed makes me want to, made me really want to come here and be a part of it as well. How, how closely did you follow what Detroit was up to when you were out west? And uh, I mean, did you keep tabs on some of the guys you knew from the locker room, talked to them? What the vibe is like these days? I talked to Taylor a little bit. Taylor's the one who I talked to the most. Um, and I kind of got a little bit of what was going on through him. But other than that, I kind of just kept like a, I was kind of just viewing from afar. You know, I have a few people who I talk to quite frequently who are big Lions fans and telling me about how great the Lions were. And I'm just like, all right, come on, guys. Like, I get it. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, now that I can look at it from my from you know perspective, now that I'm coming back, I'm I'm just I'm pumped. Like on, on your journey the last you know three years or whatever, I mean, I think most of us thought that you didn't want to leave in the first place. Obviously, it came to that, and then to sort of be back here and you know uh, I know it's going to be not finishing your career, but to have it come full circle in some ways, I don't know what, how meaningful is that the journey that you've been on. It means a lot. I mean, I think that a lot of things in Denver didn't, you know, there was highs and lows, and I think there's highs and lows anywhere you go, but uh, I've learned a lot from that, and I think that um, I'm ready to take what I've learned and be able to contribute what I can here, which I think will be a lot. We'll see. Yeah, I'm wondering um, how do you feel you've grown as a player over the past few seasons? I think that I've started looking at things a lot on a lot bigger scale. I mean, I think that just going, I played some guard last year, played a little bit of center as well. Just going back and forth between the two gave me a lot more appreciation for what people are doing around me. I've always kind of liked to pay attention to that type of stuff, but um, I think it just comes down to being able to appreciate the guys around you, talk to them on a personal level and make sure that you can get the best out of them. And I mean, it seems like they get, they're doing pretty well here on the offensive line. So uh, I don't think I'd have to do a ton of that, but I think that uh, just being around guys who I genuinely like being around and uh, enjoy seeing every day is going gonna, is gonna to be great. You were part of that, re that first wave revamp here with, with Taylor and, and Frank, and they've since added you know, a couple guys that have made Pro Bowls in, in Jonah and Panay. And just, you know, what, what is it like joining a group that, you know, is viewed as maybe one of the better units in the league and you know, up front? Well, I mean, when I, was, when I was looking for places to go, that was something that was really enticing to me, was just seeing how, how good they've been so far and 
being able to you don't get many opportunities to go join a place that already has like a very well like a very like established line and i think that that was as i said something that was appealing to me i kind of forgot the question um <laughs> sorry Remember, your, your understanding of this organization where it's been and where it wants to go what would it mean to you to be a part of the group that finally gets this franchise where everybody has kind of dreamed of it being i understand the work has to be done but the possibilities seem like they're there well i think it first of all it would mean a lot to me i mean there's been a lot of um there was a lot of up and ups and downs when i was here in my first four years you know uh made the playoffs once missed it close one time you know and as i said from there it was ups and downs but um to come back and have success for um for the fans and for uh for the fans and also just for the players who have been here for a long time i know there's really not that many left i mean what is taylor the longest guy here Okay, yeah, okay. But just having success for having success for him and for all the other guys who have been here through hard times would be amazing. Bitterness when you left? Like, did you have to come to a reckoning with that when you came back, or was it just in the business at the time? Like, just the way that, you know, they handled it on the way out, I guess, for you? I was bitter, yeah. But um, I, I got over that relatively quickly. I mean, I think that that was... Um, Geez, a lot of typing. Um, can I retract that statement? Um, uh, geez, yeah, no. I mean, I came, I came to grips with it relatively, like, pretty quickly. And, I mean, I had no bad, like, no ill will against the Lions or any of my old teammates. I wanted them all to do well. I wanted them all to succeed. And um, I've also forgot the question now. I, all the clacking on the keyboards kind of took it out of me. Yeah, just that, I mean, as you... I guess reflecting on that, right? Like, yeah. It, was, was it, it wasn't tough to come back. Then, right? No, I, I was I was happy to come back. It was something I wanted to do. You discuss role, you know, when when you're resigning with the team. What what is kind of the outlook of of how you fit uh, here with this team? You know, competing for a job, starting a job. What what is your expectation in 2023? Uh, the expectation is to come in and compete for a job, and I mean I've done it before, and that's something I'm not opposed to you know I've competed for a job here in the past and uh in a way it's I mean I find that you know I had that hmm I don't want to answer this all right here we go um the game is very humbling and I find that being able to have an opportunity to come back to a place where I have emotional ties and even some physical ties is Having, a, having an opportunity to come back to a place where I have physical and emotional ties, to be able to come back and be a part of something special is, is important to me. I forgot the question again. I'm, I'm struggling here. <laughs> I'm struggling, even. I'm well, struggling. I, one year deals are often you know, labeled better or worse than two deals, right? Like you've got to reprove yourself in this league. You're always kind of proving yourself, right? But mm -hmm. are, you, are you motivated by this, this opportunity to? on a personal level, more, more so than maybe a team level, to, to prove that you, know, you, you still offer what you do? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's, that's very fair to say. And I think that there's no better place for me to prove myself than where I've already proved myself before. Justin's question, but I guess just to frame it something differently. Um, you know, you're from uh, Illinois, but you, you played college ball uh, just on the road. You, played, you started your pro career here. Um, you met your wife in Ann Arbor, uh, have a home there. I guess just having the opportunity to come back to a place you know so well, and you've had so much personal uh, growth and on-field accomplishments. How, I guess how does it feel to be back uh, in, in that kind of place? I mean, you have a bit of nostalgia when you're coming back, you know? I still have to make my way out to Ann Arbor, but just driving in through the gates today just as i said i saw some stuff that's different just walking around the building you see some stuff that's the same you see some stuff that's different you see some people that are the same you see some people that are different but just coming back here has been just as i said it makes everything so real like up until today like i was very you know since i agreed to terms i was excited but coming back here has made it just really feel like it's it's happening and that's exciting for me is different about the building of people. I mean, I know you've only been here for a couple hours. But yeah, it's really hard to say. I've only, I've only talked to, you know, well, talked to a few people. But 
Um, I feel like it just comes down to, as I said, the. I don't feel like the. The building, like there's been a few changes around the building, but like that doesn't really. It doesn't speak to you, but actually just talking to the people who are new and the people who have been here for a while and seeing what they believe and how they look at things is. You're not going to believe this, Eamon. I forgot the question. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I, I forgot where I was going with it, but. Yeah, I mean, it just seems to me like, it just seems to me talking with the people around the building that things are trending upwards, and I'm just happy to be part of it. I think uh, I got voted to the full-time position coach the year you left, if I remember correctly. Just the, the relationship you, you had with him as a you know former center, it seems like a lot of guys have good relationships with him. What was your relationship like with Frank, and how, how forward are you looking to work with him again? Frank or Hank? Uh, Hank, I'm sorry, Hank. Yeah, I'm, you've got me I'm looking off forward my to working with both of them. <laughs> They're both great. Um, I'm looking forward to working with Hank. He was always somebody who I could talk to more about like technique stuff. I feel like Jeff was like a little bit more of like an X's and O's type guy and somebody who wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page. But J Hank was the guy who you'd talk to if you wanted to talk about how to get something done. So um, I feel like Hank has been, I mean, you got like the right players are here, but I feel like Hank has been also instrumental in the success of the O-line so far. So I'm happy to work with him again. Where nobody's going to get lost. What food item did you miss most from Michigan? Um, it's a good question. I really missed, uh, well, it's not like one item in particular, but I really missed going to Zingerman's Bakery. Uh, it's not the deli and it's not the roadhouse. It's b behind a Costco off the highway. I don't know if you guys know Ann Arbor that well, but um, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I missed it a lot. Huh? I, that, was a, that was an easy one. You know, there's a lot of layers to these questions. Like, some of them are, it's like an onion. Yeah, I have a non lines question. There's a lot of talk about Russell Wilson and the kind of leader he was. What was it like for you playing with him last year? Um, I mean, he was, he was a really good guy. Like, I feel like he had uh, his heart in the right place. He put the work in, and he was somebody who... Uh, who wanted to succeed, and I mean, it was as I said, he was a good guy. I liked, I liked working with him. It was good. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I would say he was misunderstood. I mean, a lot of people were very critical of him and uh, uh, spoke out against his character, which I feel like is not. You can always speak out about somebody's performance, and I know that you guys do. And I know a lot of reporters do. I know a lot of you know armchair reporters back at home on Twitter do too. But I think that it's not fair to always like criticize somebody's character, especially if they're doing so much for their communities and have, you know, you know, he's a Walter Payton man, man of the year. He's done so much. He's, I see him on Nickelodeon's award show, you know, getting slimed. So good dude. I don't think that was fair. Can you share some just about the process? I mean, you said, you know, when you were looking at options, so how quickly did this come about, you know, Ultimately, you know, how many teams were you looking at before you decided to, to come back? Uh, when I ended up getting released, I told my agent right away that this, was, that this was a place I was very interested in, and I wanted to gauge their interest in me, and they were interested. And uh, it came down to like here in like San Francisco a little bit, Carolina a little bit, but I was mainly just on the, on the train of like, if we can get to if we can get to like where the contract would be like, you know, somewhere where I'd be fine with it. Like I'd want to go through with it as soon as possible. And that's what happened. What was the reason, reason for that to get back home or to be part of what you sort of saw from afar or why, why was this like top of your list? Uh, I, to play with some of my friends, play with Taylor, play with Frank. I mean, um, it just came down to like, I wanted to be a part of that online room. I wanted to be back with, my buddies and I wanted to be a part of this team. All good, guys. Was that longer than usual? I'm sweating. <laughs> I.